Uh, okay, guys, here we are, gradually coming to an end of Bloodstock 2024, but there's no end to the bands that we want to tell you about. Uh, this bunch here, uh, the Galgate Murders, you played on the EMP stage about an hour and a half, two hours ago. Uh, less um, than that. Yeah, less than that. Minutes. We're not long off, yeah. like, fresh off the stage. Hang on. Oh, yeah, very, yeah. very fresh <laughs> off the stage. It must be said. It was a banging set. It was one of the few I've actually managed to catch. It was fun. It was crowd were going mental. You had poppers and all kinds of party poppers just uh, <laughs> uh, going off all over the place. Um, so how did how did you find it? What did you think? Was that one of your best shows? Was it just is that what your see, shows are normally like? like fun's kind of like uh, the aim of the game whenever we're playing. Yeah. But that one was just absolutely, absolutely fire. I said it on stage. I'll say it again. It wasn't us bringing the energy. To that stage it was the crowds yeah. they were going absolutely mental the response that we got was absolutely phenomenal i wouldn't trade that experience for anything else in the world yeah it's been, it's been a dream for us for a lot of time uh, for a long time to play this festival and to be able to come here play well i didn't see much of it because i had too much sweat in my eyes but you know <laughs> <laughs> i could hear the crowd giving it back so that's there, all that matters there's ten thousand out there <laughs> yeah and then some it could have been ten it could have been ten or ten thousand all the way. Everybody, everybody loved it. So what I see, so I'm really happy with what we did. You know, fantastic. I mean, the Sunday lineup seems to be quite a fun one in terms of like bands like yourselves, Knife Light Orchestra, Raised by Owls. Uh, I think it's, it's a good humid day, and I think the sunshine being out, everybody's off the tits. Oh, 100 percent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I was slowly dying in a puddle somewhere, <laughs> their own, their own sweat. <laughs> so for those who didn't get a chance to catch you, how would you describe yourselves? So we describe ourselves as uh, Celtic punk. Yep. So that was kind of all encompassing. So the, myself comes from an Irish musical background. Yep. The lads are from Scotland. And we throw in um, like Celtic musical instruments and influence yep. uh, into like very hard punk rock. Yep. Our style sort of uh, adapted over time because it was me just going like, let's make a lot of twiddly D music. And these guys just looking at me, it's like, nah, I'm pushing this with a big solid. <laughs> like, this guy comes in with a bass and just immediately changes the sound entirely. So it's all his fault. Uh, <laughs> do you know what? It is all my fault, and I apologise to the world. <laughs> Tom will write a song and say that sounds. You're playing that terribly. This is how you do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a musician. Oh. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> so you're saying Bloodstock's one of the festivals or the festival you wanted to play? Why Bloodstock? It's the festival we've been going to the longest. We have a special connection with this festival. It's a festival after our own hearts. Uh, there's a, quite a few festivals that we always regularly go to. Um, for instance, we just played Download Festival, and that's another one that was absolutely fantastic, and it was just a perfect moment. Uh, but for the band as a whole, we've been going to Bloodstock since the moment it started up, the moment we started going to festivals, this was the one, this was the big one. I went, uh, I first came here 10 years ago this year, and I, I came because my mate, uh, a, 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 a band that we're friends with back in Edinburgh, Dog Tired, played the... Uh, oh yeah, yeah. they, they you know, headlined our first yeah. festival. Yeah, they played, um, they played the New Blood stage, they did so indeed, I yeah. came down just to see them, it's so local support. Yeah. It's a first, it was the first proper festival I'd ever been to, and I fell in love with this place, seriously. And to be able to play this 10 years later, I just, where the hell did the time go, you know, what we've been doing before this, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you, you get the, the EMP stage, what was it, the Eager stage. Everyone refers to it as, as a small stage, but it's it's got no walls. It's literally sizeless. And you have the, the passing train, because I, I was walking past and I heard you, which is why I detoured round to catch him. It's, it's such a great way of, like, making sure people get to see bands like yourselves. You, oh, can, yeah. you can call it the smallest stage, but, my God, they cram them in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sardines. <laughs> oh, right, that was absolutely amazing. Like, also, it's one of those stages where the audience is right up close and personal. Yeah. And that's something that I personally always, always love. Like, I like to get the audience riled up. I like to uh, chat with them, make them on. Getting their heads. Getting their heads. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey. Have a hell of a party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. That's what it's about. It's about, it's about just, you know, coming here, showing everybody the good time. In the end, we're entertainers. If the crowd have a good time, I have a good time, you know? Yeah. And, uh, from what I saw, everybody was having a, that was a bloody whale of a time. So, um, for those who didn't catch it, um, where can they get hold of your music from? Uh, so our music's on every major, uh, every major platform. Uh, we've got a lot of social media platforms. We've got a website as well, thegardagatemurders.com, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. We're on Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify, uh, wherever we can go. We also do have uh, albums kicking about as well. That's from our uh, an EP, which is called Dead Gone and Living Gone. 
That's it. Have you got anything else coming up you want to want people to know about? Any, any more dates coming up or any releases? Uh, so what we're doing right now, we're in the process of writing a brand new album. Yep. It's all getting worked on basically as we speak. When we're not playing, we are working on this album. And there will be a tour coming up. And basically keep an eye on all those social medias, guys. And you'll find us pretty quick, pretty quick, pretty quick. Might have been out by now if I not got booked for downloading Bloodstock. So. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Takes the pockets, you know. Damn those festivals. Uh, shall we start recording this? You're doing this? Okay, we should probably start practicing for the yeah, festivals then. Course, yeah. <laughs> so if you're watching this on our, on our website, just look up above the video. You'll see the links up there for band camps and Spotify's and all that kind of stuff up there. Uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. It was an awesome set. Thank really you, fun. dude. Just what we want for Sunday as well. No worries, man. Thank you very much. The fact that it was so blooming hot. So. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Thank Cheers, you. man. Cheers, folks.